not supporting. Oh. Are you comfortable? Yeah. You're too far away. You have to get closer to me. <laughs> you look too far away in the picture. Far away? Not far enough. I can't <laughs> see you. <laughs> like Gomer Pyle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. so, got so, stuff to talk about. Stuff? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, what's the. Oh! What? Hat's crooked! <laughs> what are you doing? You ever You're try crooked. putting your hat on in a. It still looks crooked. I think it's just the picture looks crooked. There we go. This is golden footage. Oh, golden. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder if Tom Cruise has this problem. <laughs> anyway. So, hello everybody. We are Rob and Jay Canvan. You all know that. I think they do that. I know. It just yeah. sounds like a, you know, people come in, hey, I'm Rob, I'm Jan. We're Rob and Jay Canvan. Yeah. Hashtag free Rob. You guys know <laughs> what we're talking about. Okay. So, first of all, big, big, big news. Some of you might have seen in the news, some others that are from, not from this area, may not have, but um, we had a big tornado. F2 or something? F2? F you. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, it was an F you. <laughs> Stop saying that. F2. It was an F2. Which sounds a lot like. Don't say that, because it's still swearing. You can't say Don't that. Stop. Anyways, F. You like a by vowel? F2, F2 tornado. F2. Uh, hit down like 10 minutes from where we live. Really scary. A lot of damage. Luckily, no deaths. Eight injuries, four serious injuries, houses that are totaled. It's very rare. I know a lot of places in the states and southern areas and that have those kind of issues. We generally don't. So I think the last one that was here is 1985. Yeah. So we got on our phones, we got these warnings for tornado and thought, ah, tornado, that's fine. It's just a warning. And I guess at the time we were getting those warnings, it was actually hitting 10 minutes away from us. Uh, and really took out a whole neighborhood pretty pretty yeah. badly there. So yeah. um, hopefully people are recovering. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a craziness for some, but um, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. In, uh, what, are, what was it, Hurricane Alley in the States? Through Kansas and that? I don't know. Yeah, they call this a Chinook, but in Canada this is big stuff for us. So. It's not a Chinook. I know. This is uh, a tornado. I know, but compared to what they get. Uh, it's they get still serious. Just houses that are tornado, uh, tornado or total. Hurricane Alley or, yeah. Anyways, that that, that's what was going on. Uh, yeah. just, that, that was just yesterday. Now, whether or not we get, we're a little late this week. Just been so busy. We, we uh, are actually filming this on Friday. We normally have our video out by now, so we're just getting this filmed now. So we might get it out tonight if I get it done in time. If not, maybe tomorrow. Uh, so we're just going to talk about that first of all the tornado we're good if anyone was hearing about that in the news we're alive obviously but it makes me wonder we're in our condo still right now on the first floor what would we have done if we were in the van and in that area where would we go to be safe in this van so we didn't have the whole roof taken off or anything nothing nothing you would <laughs> would you outrun it would you hide under a bridge what would you well, do well if you're out in an open area yeah but then if you're kind of sheltered now depending on how it hits you just don't know like like even in the uh, footage that they had of uh, uh, the destruction there it's like one house would have uh, the first floor gone and the next house there wasn't so no, much as a shingle off the roof so you, you just don't know then there's people yeah. the stories of people that you know somebody called them and said oh wait, so i see something coming get down in the basement and they literally got down just in time and their whole house was gone when it came out of the basement like the whole top floor and yeah. everything so yeah, yeah it was pretty bad so um, like I say, hopefully people will have an issue with rebuilding and have what they need to to get by, but it's uh, pretty scary. So yep. that's what. Oh, oh. <laughs> a tornado! Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh! Okay. That's not gonna work. Oh, Rob, it's not gonna work. Okay. I tell you. Oh, hey guys, bear with us. FPV. <laughs> FPV. We're trying to stop it. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's probably better. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to put it just oh, like this. Oh, man. There. Is that, that's not good. Okay, don't breathe. But it's not good. Uh, oh, my goodness. We're going to have to. Good yeah. idea there, Vern. <laughs> well, it was a good idea until you knocked it. Okay, guys, are you enjoying this riveting footage? If it's your first time here, this is this is kind of actually how it goes. 
If this isn't something exciting. Told you, you should have given me the tripod. Didn't listen to Is me. Is that going to stay? Okay, actually that looks pretty good. Hey guys, everything's fine. Don't worry. We're professionals here. Uh, <laughs> okay, other business. We're still packing up to get out of the house. Oh. It feels like we're not making any progress. It seems like life gets in the way of getting anything accomplished. Just little things that come up for ourselves, for our family, for just things that happen. And it's just been so busy. Yeah. We haven't really got a lot accomplished. And I'm afraid we're going to be there under the wire getting out next month. Oh. And hopefully it all goes well. Um, but uh, we're excited though, because once we get out there, there's a couple of meetups we're going to go to. We've got one planned in the works to be planned for middle of September um, in Hamilton area. I know Paula from Van Vita Travels is going to be coming uh, to do something with that as well as Call Me V, AV, and uh, some others in that area. So we're going to yeah. do a little meetup which will be kind of fun, uh, well very fun. Mm -hmm. it'll, be, it'll be fun yeah. to do and uh, kind of nice to meet everybody there. It'll be nice um, to leave the yard. <laughs> So that's middle of September. More details to be determined later on. And then we're going to be going to M21, Michigan 21, uh, which is another meetup, an uh, RV and van life kind of meetup for the uh, third week in September, 24th to the 26th of September. That's for YouTube creators and subscribers and their fans and their friends and whatever, right? So that'll be a fun one. Yep. And that's booked. Uh, I think there's still spots available if anyone's interested in attending that. I know it's um, if you go to if you if you Google M21, and it will come up to uh, where RV Stain or RV Stain uh, website there, and then there's details you can click on there to look at more details yeah. about M21 and how you can register and all the stuff there. So I might put something like here, here, here. <laughs> Still I know. I think it's because this is wonky. I think it's just odd. Square head. Anyway. So M21, round, we're going to do round that. Round peg, square hole. <laughs> we'll talk later. Well, oh, you're <laughs> anyway. so scary. Okay, so <laughs> M21, yeah. And then I have a poem I'm going to read today, too. But okay. is there anything else you'd like to talk about? No. No? No. Just, just putting in time. Oh, we've had so much stuff going on. I've spent over two weeks trying to get a furnace for my mother to put it in so that we can leave and not have to worry about it. And uh, oh God, and then I'm going for stupid medical procedures. Janet just went for some, trying to sell her thing, her, her vehicle. I got to get insurance. And in Canada, I don't know what the hell's going on. But anyway, well. For RV. Just a lot of stuff we yeah. gotta do. That just, oh, yeah. just a lot of administrative just stuff crazy. that have nothing to do with the actual physical moving, but all has to be done because we're moving. So just it's yeah. just and then so the move, much. Yeah. yeah, it feels like every day we're we're going in circles. I feel like we're on a hamster wheel underwater. <laughs> it's like it just it's just yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, you know so, what we need? What? <clears throat> a poem. I was gonna thought you were gonna say beer. <laughs> No, beer. one wouldn't be enough. <laughs> That's true. Okay, anyway, okay. I'm going to read a poem. And this Man, one, read I wrote poem. this a while ago, and I've had to kind of tweak it a bit, because these people keep changing their plan all the time. So oh. these are people that most of you guys probably know. They've got a lot of subscribers. They're probably the most famous Canadian... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I thought they were number three or something. What do you mean? In, oh, these uh, are so YouTube. dirty. Look at these. <laughs> <laughs> They're the most famous Canadian... They used to be van lifers and now they're kind of not van lifers and yeah. I'll read the poem it'll be self-explanatory. These yep. glasses are extremely filthy so I, I apologize. I know. Wait, I still haven't got, let me take the tape off my... <laughs> we're falling apart, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, here we almost go. Rob, you entertain them while I find my poem. Should do charades. How can you do charades? Oh, you can do charades for one person. Yeah, okay, okay. so what do you got there? Okay. Get ready, set, go. Fellow Canadians, Eamon and Beck, ventured out on a round the world trek. He made it quite far in Trinity, but with COVID-19, it wasn't to be. So you came back home to Ontario to build a new van, rare and to go. With the help of your amazing dad, Bob, and Milwaukee Tools, you finished the job. In the parking lot of Chai Walla Chai Tea, and created a new home in Casa B. 
pink sheets, earth tone pillows, even a shower, making it a perfect working hundreds of hours. Then you found another adventure, because you got the goods, a cute cabin to rebuild in your own little woods. A new roof, a hot tub, windows, awesome decks, Tim the tool man with tights, what the heck? You've done an awesome job building out your new home. Maybe soon you'll be out again, raring to roam. Now you're in a boat? What a shock! Tenty while moored and maneuvering the locks. Well, I hope our paths do cross someday. Fellow Canadians living our own way. We enjoy your channel and hope you'll be our fan. We are new van lifers, Rob and Jan Can Van. <laughs> in the pink bus. I've heard it so many times. You have not. She sleeps and she repeats these in the middle of the night. No, it's not true. No, it's good though. It's good, good though. Look at all these people looking at us. I know. By. So we set, we found a nice quiet spot to park. There's a nice little creek behind. There's a little fishing hole thing, whatever. And of course, as soon as you pull in here, all these vehicles go by. That's, yeah. that's never. It's always the way when you're filming, right? Yeah, big big sign that says uh, private property from here forward. And yet, we just had uh, two RVs come out of there. I don't know. Yeah, know. but anyway. It's tricky. Once we're actually on the road, yeah. actually, actually, actually out on the road, it'll be easier, I think, to film and do stuff. It's like right now we're trying to take time away to try and have some content and get out here and do stuff. When we're out on the road, we'll be doing content, content, content. We'll be showing you everywhere we're going, all the fun stuff we're going to see, and hopefully we can travel soon and do all this fun stuff. I've had enough of pretending and dreaming about doing fun stuff. Is that too extreme? <laughs> Too extreme. <laughs> I'm not sure where this is going. <laughs> I just, I think I'm just tired. Dreaming like, of fun. It feels like every day we're, we're we have ideas of accomplishing something that never gets accomplished. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to the world opening up more and us being able to do the what we planned with this van, the whole yeah. purpose of having this van and what we're supposed to do. So yeah. I'm excited about that. What yeah. about you? But, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun because even coming out here. We're driving along, I, I turned onto the highway and uh, I saw some vehicles coming and then all of a sudden this big truck is right beside us and he's laying oh, yeah. on the horn and I look and he's waving and I'm, I'm looking like, who the heck is that in? It turns out to, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Pat who, uh, if you're Steely, watching this, Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Uh, but it might not have been, so now that's going to yeah, be silly because I, I, I thought, he had sunglasses I, and I'm not sure. It was sure. hard to tell through the window. But he seemed awful uh, excited to see oh, us. So oh, yeah. Like, either he's just really excited to see this van or he knows us, so we're not quite sure. Yeah, so but, but it was kind of We'll find out funny. after Yeah, we'll, we'll find out, see if it was him, <laughs> because we're gonna do uh, uh, maybe a, a van tour of his van or something at some point, so. Yeah, but I think he's heading out somewhere, so we're gonna be able to do it for a bit. Yep. We got lots of ideas of things we're gonna do, it just never seems to to have, to really balance out right now to do what we wanna yep. do. join so. the club. That's life, right? Yeah, so. So that's about it for today. Yeah, that's, I think that's it for now. Uh, not much going on, guys. You know, you probably feel the, to entertain you, you probably feel the same way. You know, it's like click, click, click. You should click, play click. twenty seconds of guitar, just to entertain them. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like you're on a converter or your TV. Uh, what do they call those? Well, converter. Or converter. Yeah, or looking for something. Switcher. Looking for something to entertain you. But uh, anyway, that's yeah, enough. Yeah, that's enough for today. Yeah, we'll have more interesting stuff later on. We promise. We promise. We make a promise to you that we will be interesting, whether we like it or not, or can do it or not. We'll, we'll, we'll be interesting in some way or some capacity or another. <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself. Very convincing. I, I, I think the little lady has the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get a lot of hate mail now. You're going to be in trouble. I think I'm loud again. <laughs> I was, the funny thing is, he's making. He's like he's saying that because the other day I was making fun of somebody seeing the vapors and I said if you yeah. said that you get a lot of trouble. But I said, oh, she's got the vapors because they used to say that in the old days that yep. women were so dainty, right? She says, don't, don't you use that? But here I am. <laughs> anyway, he on that note, the buttons. okay, that's it, guys. Yeah, we're going. Take care. Arriva Derchi. All that stuff. Yeah. Bye. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Use your hat again. Do that trick. I'm knocking off the thing. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> you didn't, didn't even work. cover it. Ooh. All right. Bye. <laughs>